In this class, we are going to see the synthesis of carbocal chloride. So, first we will see the structure of carbocal chloride. For this, the parent is ammonium chloride. We have known ammonium chloride, NH4Cl. So, here it is having four hydrogens. No? So, one of that is replaced by means of ethyl means that is called as ethyl ammonium chloride. In the ethyl ammonium chloride, it is uh, having ethyl, no, that first carbon is having three hydrogens. So, one of that is replaced by means of this amino carbonyl oxy, oxy. And here, in the NH3, it is having three hydrogens. No, that three hydrogens are replaced by means of that three methyl means that will be the structure of carbocal chloride. That's why it can be called as, uh, um, here, this is the first carbon. And this is the second carbon. With the second carbon only, we have amino carbonyl oxy. That's why it is 2 amino carbonyl oxy. And here the three methyls are attached with the nitrogen. That's why N, 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 trimethyl. Uh, this is ethyl ammonium chloride. So that is the chemical name of carbocal chloride. It is a parasympathomimetic agent. We have known it is an ester of carbamic acid. Why? Because we have known carbamic acid. NH2COH, no, that is called as carbamic acid. Now, look at the structure of carbocal chloride. So, for this, for the carbamic acid here, we are having H, no. So, that H is replaced by means of this whole thing. Whole thing means that is carbocal chloride. So, it that's why it is an ester of carbamic acid and it is having structural similarity with acetylcholine. Here in carbocal chloride it is having NH2 no so this NH2 is replaced by means of this methyl means that is the structure for acetylcholine. So what is the change in acetylcholine the terminal methyl no that is replaced by means of amino group for carbocal chloride. It is having muscarinic properties and also nicotinic properties. Now we will see the synthesis of carbocal chloride. For this we have taken the starting material as ethylene chlorohydrin. So already we have come across epichlorhydrin. So why we have seen that epichlorhydrin in the synthesis of propranolol. So this is the structure of epichlorhydrin that is the starting material for propranolol. Whereas here we have taken ethylene chlorohydrin. So that ethylene chlorohydrin is treated with the pass gene. What is pass gene? Uh, Cl, Co, Cl, no, that is called pass gene. So by the addition of these two, here we have one hydrogen, no, so that hydrogen combines with this Cl. So and removed as HCl. So that's why the left group, no, that Co, Cl is added to the oxygen and we are getting the intermediate. Now with the intermediate, we are adding ammonia that is we are going for amination so by for amination here we have cl no that cl combines with h from here removed as hcl so that's why the left nh2 is added with this and we are getting one more intermediate now with the intermediate we are adding trimethyl amine so by the addition of trimethyl amine the bond between this carbon and chlorine no that would be broken and uh, this uh, trimethyl amine would be inserted here and we are getting carbocal chloride so that's all about the synthesis of carbocal chloride once again we'll repeat ethylene chlorohydrin is treated with pos gene there may be removal of one molecule of hcl then we are going for amination by means of ammonia again hcl is removed that nh2 would be added here and we are treating with uh, trimethyl amine. So, we are getting carbocal chloride. Thank you.